Maybe. 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 Okay, I think we're finally live. We had major technical difficulties, so if anybody hops on, let me know. And Miss Dickinson's going to share this on her page, and then I'll share it on my page. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do it from my class page, but it was letting me do it from here. So, let me know if you're on. We're going to read you two stories. Sorry it's late. But let me know if you can hear us, see us. You wave to him. <laughs> you look sad. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Let's see if we can see anybody. I've never done one of these. I don't know how we can see. Not I'm not in here. He's not? No. Is he? He's watching the movie. Okay, I see people liking us. So can everybody hear us? Nope. Ask them, say, can you hear us? Hear us? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? <laughs> I'm guessing if you're liking that you can hear. Can somebody write a comment? Can I write a and comment? See if that pops up. Yeah, it pops up. We had technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you're saying. Oh no, you are saying what I'm saying. Not seeing any comments yet. Not seeing any comments yet. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, there we go. Me and Barrett are listening. Hi. Look, tell them hi. Hi. They can hear us. Okay, good. <clears throat> oh, Sarah says hi. Hi. Okay, good. Now we can see comments. Hi. Okay, well, we can get started and then um, and then we'll I'll share it to my class page after this. Okay, so the first book that we're going to read um, is called This is Owl. And if you have never heard, uh, we're in the Scarlet's room, in case you're wondering. Um, Scarlet might make an appearance if she's not already asleep. She might already be asleep with that ass. But this is Landon. Tell everybody hi. Hi. If you've never seen Landon. Oh, look, Amber says hi. Hi. <laughs> so, okay, we're going to read um, This is Owl. And if you have never heard of Us Born Books, they are awesome. I mean, this is coming from a teacher, and I love them so much. Um, okay. this is a super interactive book and Landon loves it. He always wants to read this at bedtime. We'll scoot back a little bit, but this is one of his favorites by far. Um, so I'll hold it down a little bit so you can see, but he's going to help me read it because it's interactive. So it's going to be way more cute if he's doing it with me, but we're going to do this. And then, um, I'm going to read Cinderella and I'll tell you why I'm going to read Cinderella after. You read this one, but this is called This is Owl. <laughs> He's already laughing because he loves his book. <laughs> Welcome to the woods. We're here to meet someone very special. Turn the page and I'll introduce you. <laughs> this is Owl. Owl, wake up. Owl, you're embarrassing me. This is not how we agreed to start the book. A tickling Owl's tummy to wake Owl up. <laughs> no, we need both eyes open, Owl. Your audience is waiting. Oh, uh, I know. Owl's nocturnal. That means Owls are only active during the nighttime. 
clap three times to switch off the sun. Good job. We know some other animals that are nocturnal too. Like we talked about bats this year in mommy's class. And bats are also nocturnal. Oops. Quickly draw a big round moon so we owl can see. That's better. Now let's try again. This is owl. Owl lives in a tree. But what's the matter, owl? No, now is not the time to be distracted by a beetle. Okay, okay, sorry about this. Can you tilt the page so Al can get to the beetle? Whoa, you might have tipped Al a little too far. Flap the pages together and let's help Al fly. Well, quite frankly, you're just not trying hard enough, Al. Can you flap the pages a little harder? <laughs> oh dear, perhaps that was a little too hard that time. No, Al, where are you going? You can't just flap off. Call Al back with a loud toot toot. Toot toot. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. Have you seen? Owl? No. 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 Who's Owl? Owl. <laughs> <laughs> no. Keep looking. Keep looking. Still not here. I thought I was an owl. You see the little bat? <laughs> I found Owl. Where? There you are, and you have a friend. Wave hello to other owls. <laughs> Owl, are you trying to build a nest? Owls don't usually build their own nest. This could be a disaster. Would you mind lending a hand? Draw some tit twigs to help Owl and other Owl. There, that's better. This is the home of Owl and Other Owl. They look happy, don't they? Uh-oh, it looks like a rain cloud is about to come and ruin things. Blow it away, quick! What is it, Owl? What do you want to show me? Let's take a closer look. What are you hiding, Owl? You could have cleaned it before showing it to me. Sweep away at the feathers and twigs. It's a little egg. Gently, gently tap the shell to see what's inside. Tap a little bit harder. It's about to hatch. <laughs> oh, look. Welcome to the world, baby owl. Blow baby owl a kiss to say hello. <laughs> it's almost daybreak in the woods. Time for owls to go to bed. Good night, owl, other owl, and baby owl. Can you wave a cheery goodbye? Bye. <laughs> and that's the end. So I love this book. That's an awesome book. And I think it's okay. even good for kids older than Landon. But Landon I really love loves it, it all the time. He loves it all the time. He really does. So now I'm going to read um, Cinderella, and the reason that I'm going to read that is because I'm going to try and go into my classroom tomorrow and get um, the twisted fairy tale version of Cinderella. So if I can go get that tomorrow, then tomorrow night I'm going to read the twisted version of Cinderella. So this is the original version of Cinderella, um, and then tomorrow night, hopefully I'll get to read the twisted version and we can compare and contrast. But we love that book because it's really interactive, right? All right, are you gonna sit here while I read Cinderella? Or you wanna go? You wanna tell them bye-bye? Okay. I read Cinderella. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is another, this is just a us born version of um, Cinderella because like I said, a lot of my read alouds are at school. 
Um, I didn't even think about bringing them home and reading with you guys or else I would have brought them home. But I'm going to try and go grab a bunch tomorrow because I just keep them all in my classroom. So I always have them. But this is just an original version of Cinderella. So there's not many pictures in this one. There's a few. So like this is the beginning, but I'll show you the pictures that we do have. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful young girl named Ella, but everyone called her Cinderella. Because while the rest of her family slept in soft feather beds, she had to huddle by the fireplace in the kitchen and wait covered in ashes and cinders. Cinderella's mother had passed away years before and her father, who was rarely home, had married again. His new wife made Cinderella scrub and sweep and cook and clean, but she lavished every luxury of her own with her own two girls, who were as ugly as Cinderella was beautiful. One day, an invitation arrived, which made Cinderella's mother shriek with excitement. The prince is holding a ball, she cried, and we're all invited. At once, she and her daughters began discussing dresses and shoes and how to impress a prince. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. Please, may I go too, begged Cinderella. You, laughed her stepmother, just look at you covered in cinders and looking like a kitchen maid. They'd never let you out of the palace like that. Over the following days, Cinderella's mother summoned the most fashionable dressmakers and hairdressers to make the ugly sisters look slightly less ugly. It wasn't easy. Finally, the big night arrived. The sisters and their mother left in a swish of finery and Cinderella was alone in an empty house. I wish I could go to the ball, she sighed. Oh, somebody's talking. <laughs> Hardly had the words left her lips than there was a tap at the door. There stood an old lady leaning over on a silver stick. Cinderella had never seen her before, but yet she seemed to know who Cinderella was. Hello, dear, she said. I am your fairy godmother and you shall go to the ball. But first, we need a coach. Can you bring me a pumpkin? Cinderella was too astonished to ask why. She ran to pick a pumpkin from the garden. Her godmother waved a stick. There was a shower of stars so bright that Cinderella had to blink. When she looked again, the pumpkin had become a golden round coach. She gasped. Now, the coachman and the horses, her grandmother went on, I think you'll find a lizard yeah. and four mice in the garden. Another way, yeah. and there was a coachman, a singer, yeah. <laughs> and a handsome yeah. white horses. And your dress, she added, yeah. with a final wave. Cinderella. Yeah. <laughs> with a final wave, Cinderella's ragged old clothes yeah. became a glittering ball gown. While yeah. delicate glass slippers sparkled on her face. So look, now you can see. Here's a page. <laughs> Cinderella spun around in delight. Oh, thank you, Godmother, she cried. Now remember, her Godmother said, Cinderella stepped in the golden coach. Your magic will wear off at midnight. You must leave before then. I will, promised Cinderella. The palace was ablaze with lights when Cinderella arrived. She entered a hush fell. No one had ever seen someone so beautiful. Shyly, the prince came over and asked her to dance. Cinderella's glass slippers tinkled lightly on the dance floor as she and the prince whirled and twirled together. They were having so much fun she almost forgot the godmother's warning until a clock began to strike. Midnight, she gasped. She gathered up her skirt and dashed for the door. Don't go, called the prince, racing after her, but he was too late. She had vanished, except for one sparkling glass slipper. Gently, he picked it up. I'm going to find the girl who fits this, he announced boldly, and I'm going to ask her to marry me. The very next day, the prince and his servants carried the slipper from house to house. Everyone tried it, from princesses to humble housemaids, but it would fit no one. Cinderella's ugly sisters tried it too, but their feet were too big and clumpy. Then a shy, cinder-covered figure stepped forward. It can't be hers, sneered the sisters. She wasn't even at the ball. I want everyone to try, insisted the prince, gazing hopefully at the girl. 
Was it his imagination or was there something familiar about her? He held his breath and as daintily as she lifted her foot, the slipper was a perfect fit. I knew I'd find you, he cried joyfully, sweeping Cinderella into his arms. My prince, she laughed. <laughs> Stop, hugging him right back. At that moment, there was a tap at the door. Life with three-year-olds, guys. Cinderella's fairy godmother. Time for a little more magic, she said with a smile. She waved her wand and Cinderella's dusty dress was transformed into a dazzling wedding gown. There was a golden coach to carry the smiling couple back to the palace, where they lived happily ever after. Stop, buddy. Okay, well then go in the other room. They don't want to see you pick your nose. Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters were less happy. It's all your fault, the stepmother grumbled at her for having such big feet. So that's the end. I love Cinderella, it's one of my favorites. Um, but like I said, I'm hoping to go into my classroom tomorrow and I'm gonna get the twisted fairy tale version of Cinderella. And um, then we can compare and contrast. But most of you probably have already heard that version. That's kind of the happily ever after version. The twisted fairy tale version is so funny. Every year I get so excited to read it to my kids and um, we were gonna read it next week in my class, but obviously we're not gonna be there now. So um, I really would love to get it and read it to you guys. So I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow. So I hope you all have an awesome night. And just like Miss Dickinson said, um, stay positive and happy. And if there's anything I can do to help anybody with first grade stuff, let me know. Or even kindergarten stuff or second grade stuff. Um, and if not, I can put you in touch with some awesome teachers at our school. But thank you all for watching. Can you tell them bye-bye and say have a good night? Can you tell them bye-bye and have a good night? <laughs> Well, thanks for listening. Sorry we had technical difficulties. But um, I'm going to try and go to my classroom and get more books for tomorrow. So, bye, everybody. Have a good night.